Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially, he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. There's the whistle, and here we go. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Bernardo Silva. He's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass, and he's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate, and that will be a standout for this team over the course, I can assure you. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And he heaves it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Jota. Bernardo Silva. Out towards the flank. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. And it's Bernardo Silva. Has a goal! This could fall anywhere! Point blank header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Oh, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Ruben Neves did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Robertson plays it over to the other flank. McTominay. 
Still goalless. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Out to the left it goes. Hit into the middle. And it's a corner. it out of harm's way that'll be a throw in lobs it in gently and that's a goal kick Bernardo Silva Jota, Bernardo Silva, Diogo Dallo, Bernardo Silva, and here's Cristiano, has a pop, goal, Portugal! Oh, beautifully dispatched, there was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Tries to switch the play. Portugal are leading with half-time drawing close. Keeps everyone guessing. Plenty waiting in the middle. Half time getting close now. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. It is a good finish. The odds were against him, little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Cristiano Ronaldo. And 
That'll be the last act of the first half. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. So, we're into the second 45. Bernardo Silva. And helps available out wide. And the keeper's in command. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo goes for goal. He's got away with one there. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Talk about singling someone out. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's been closed down first. Chance! Goal! Portugal! And they get themselves in front! Three. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. He's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Hoist it forward. Robertson. Robertson goes on a charge down the left. Just brushed off the ball there. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Forward it goes. He's gone for it! Ronaldo made a good run there. And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. <laughs> Scotland can make their change now with uh, a break in play. McTominay is there and he can get that clear. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's nice. There are a few waiting for it. He's had that put on a plate. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tries to get it forward quickly. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva.
Oh, that's neat. And it's Bernardo Silva. Has a hit! And that would have won it. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Scotland are making a change now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Jota. Looking to... And the shot! And that would have been some goal. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him with the ability he has. He can reproduce. Bruno Fernandes with the short one. That looks a good ball. Away from immediate danger. Portugal just have to run down the clock. He'll have a go. Bruno Fernandes quickly realised that he could have a pop. Not his best. Bernardo Silva. And that's it. Portugal have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, you often need resolve and resilience when under more pressure.